PV2 beta is in 90 days, and in a week on the 18th, I'll be playtesting PV2 and interviewing Jonathan at the Los Angeles press event. I'm grateful to be invited, so to record good footage and ask good questions, I'll be deep diving and reviewing all the announcement cinematic and gameplay trailers, all of the dev talks, all of the podcasts, and any YouTube videos or discussions that seem interesting. For the most part, I plan to follow my own curiosity, but if you have any burning questions that you believe I must ask, or things you believe I should playtest, then feel free to let me know. If you've played PoE 2 during Exocon and have any gameplay advice, I'd love to hear it, because my Exocon was mostly spent practicing PoE 1 in an internet cafe. Anyways, so far I've watched all of the announcement and cinematic trailers, and maybe you've noticed this as well, but what I've noticed is that around the Sorcerer Summer Games teaser, and all teasers after that, is that the general visual and graphics quality just appears to be better. There's something about the darker gritty zones in particular that I find visually appealing, perhaps because it's giving old school Diablo 1 or Diablo 2 dungeon vibes. On the flip side, however, the brighter outside zones are missing something. I'm not sure what that something is, maybe it's the color palette or terrain, but it doesn't matter too much because at the end of the day, what really matters is gameplay. That being said, I'm excited to test the Ranger, Huntress, and Mercenary to help me find some sort of ranged playstyle that can zoom, which leads to the big question, can you zoom in PoE 2? I don't know, but I hope you can. So far, the gameplay we've seen involves a lot of combos and different skill setups, which I assume is mostly for showcase purposes. But surely, late game, a lot of meta gems to automate many skills, I assume we'll be pressing in just a couple buttons for clear and blasting through content. I'm also interested in WSD movement and related to that slightly concerned about crossbow movement. Interested because, in theory, this will make inventory management while moving much easier. But the concern with crossbow movement is that it's basically a self-cast channeling skill. In modern PoE, you generally don't use self-cast channeling skills for clear. It could be fine because a small amount of movement and predictable mechanics might be the buff you needed, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, one more PV League and the PV2 beta is actually here. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day, Exiles. Bye.